Imagine you need to debug why it shows the error screen. Now you dive into the code base and you found the function that returns the error screen. In this function, you saw a complex logic with multiple booleans checked. How would you debug this function? Are you still adding print statements and check the console on which boolean return false? In this video, I will show you a faster and more efficient way to debug such complex logic code using Breakpoint in Code Editor. Currently, I am using Cursor Code Editor. You can use any code editor as long as it has Breakpoint functionality. Now, to debug this function, you just need to add the breakpoint at the start of the function code. Breakpoint is a marker that you can set on the line of the code to tell the debugger to pause execution when it reaches that line. Now let's hot restart the app and you will see how it works. So when the code reaches the breakpoint, it will pause the code execution. When it pause means debug session starts. The debug toolbar will appear at the top of the window. The toolbar contains actions to control the flow of the debug session, such as stepping through code, pausing execution, and stopping the debug session. Now you can easily go through the code line by line and check the state of the variables by hovering to the variables. So from here, we can immediately know this boolean return false that causes it to return the error screen. Once you found the root cause and fixed the issue, you can just deselect them to remove the breakpoint so the debugger won't pause the execution on next hot restart. This is how you can debug your code more efficient using breakpoint. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.